my name is Simon and I believe that when we played with the Ouija board that's when all our problems start. I don't know, I kind of feel bad asking him to take part in this. That is not me. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, she told me that feces apparently appeared in her boyfriend's hand. Well, that was in my hand. <laughs> and I didn't know where it had come from. So it's like some, it something... It wasn't even squashed or anything. Now, again, if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. Um, these are all not signs of dead people. They're signs of demonic presence. I don't think I've ever seen a human ghost. Excuse me. Yeah? Did you bring enough for the rest of the viewers? No. Everybody, if you think Olivia is just the cutest, smash that like button and let us know down below. Hey, babe. Yeah. I just changed the batteries and the light. You wanna see? No. <laughs> that was bright. You see stars. Stop! <laughs> So tonight, we are headed to a woman's house who believes she's living with a ghost, a rather nasty one that plays a lot of tricks on her, including apparently creating feces out of thin air and putting them in their hands. That's one of the many stories that I know she's going to talk about and tell us about. Uh, I don't know how tonight's going to go, really. You know, you, you never know when you're doing these private house investigations and all of that, so... I think, I'll be honest, I think we're in for a hell of a night. Hey. It looks like your chicken nuggets are about ready then. Yay! Yeah, no, um, in her Instagram messages, she told me that feces apparently appeared in her boyfriend's hand out of nowhere. It just is not focusing for the life of me, but she's told me quite a bit. And it sounds like a very strange haunting. Um, she's also a practicing witch. So she believes she has it under control. But I'm, I'm going to interview her on this. We'll, we'll see what's going on. Because, I mean, having, having feces just appear in your hands randomly does not sound like you have it under control, does it? Oh, look where we're at, Olivia. Food. Food. Alright, here we are, uh, please, God, don't let me get covered in poop by the end of this. Let's see. I think it's that one. Yep, found it. Try knocking. Hello. Hello, how are you? Thank you. Oh, don't hit the cat art. Hello, kitten. We're going to lock it as well. We can open the door. <laughs> you can open the door. Yeah, you can. Do you want me to let them all out? Yeah. I see you got locked the door all over. Oh, cheers, pal. Oh, hello. What? Have you seen it before? Terrier. Hey, kitties. <coughs> now that is a lot of cats you have there. How many more? I think I saw two in there. Oh yeah, there will two, be three, four. Some might run on the window ledge. Oh, there's one up there. Yeah, Cronus. No, he's up there. Hello, Cronus. And right there. Might be on the window ledge. Bathroom. Check the bathroom. Uh, there's a couple in there. Yeah, there will be. Cheer Bye. Oh, yeah, that brought them over. That brought them all over. 
Right. Let's see. You. No, you might have to have yours broken up. You don't know, do you? So, just curious, what made you uh, get really into cats? Like, why? Uh, clearly, you must love felines. No, I actually love animals in general. Believe it or not, many, many years ago, when my middle son wasn't living with me, he uh, was bringing a cat, and he was actually going to meet somebody at the bus stop near where I lived in my other house. And uh, he had this kitten, and I always said to people, just don't bring baby animals or anything like that to my house. Please, just don't do it. And he did. And then he says, all right, I'll go meet my friend with this cat. I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> and we just ended up keeping her. And then, uh, was, it, was it a few months later, my son's mate's cat had had kittens. And... There you go, Shadow. Izzy. Yeah, she's not going to eat you. I had kittens, and we decided we'll have a cat. Oh, a kitten, sorry. Mm -hmm. And then, where one of my friends used to live, I was going past, and it was like, oh, there's three kittens. And I thought, right, okay, I'll have another one. So it was up to three. But when they said kittens, they didn't say what age they were. And this is where... The one that I got was meant to be 10 months and that's when we later found out and this is from a person that wasn't really brought up with cats, I was brought up with dogs, looked and it's like, hang on a minute, is this cat pregnant? Oh no. <laughs> oh yes, so she was pregnant with this one. First of all, oh, yes you, too clever for your own good you. Um, yeah, my name is Jackie and I do believe that I've been followed for quite a few years but I've managed to keep whatever was following me at bay. My name is Simon and I believe that when we played with the Ouija board that's when all our problems started. And this would have been in 1996. So, tell me, what exactly have you been experiencing in this house? I've heard some stories that you... I've said. And I was most curious about you mentioning fecal matter appearing in... Simon's hand. Yeah. Which I thought was a bit odd, considering I'd only previously hoovered up that day. Yeah. And he was sat on the bed, and the next minute, he's like... <laughs> and I'm just like, what? And he's like, cat poosh just appeared in my hand. And none of the cats had <laughs> done anything. And it was like... Okay. <laughs> That's kind of odd, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah. it was just it was sat, bit, yeah. it sat there. I just pulled my sock out my shoe, put it there, and had my hand like that, kind of. And I looked <laughs> back, it was in my hand. And I didn't know where it had come from. So it's like some, it wasn't something... even squashed or anything. I mean, if you'd stood on it, it would have been flattened and. So it was as if something just like kind of dropped it in your hand yeah, when you were. Yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> Although I didn't feel it drop, I just went like that and it was just there in my hand. Maybe it just materialised. Yeah, exactly. He's got it in for him. That's what I mean. <laughs> so, okay, so why do you believe it's got it in for him and not you? Because, for my... Yeah, he has been pushed down the stairs. I don't know. I mean, when I was at the other house, I, um... I don't know. I'd, li I'd lived with it for a while, and it just come to the point was... I'd had enough, and I'm just like, do you know what? I know you're there. And believe it or not, I just can't be asked of you. And it just, at first, it, it's like it tried to intimidate me, at making noises, and I would see, like, you know, black masses and everything. And I'd be like, I remember sat, stood in my bathroom, brushing my teeth, turned, looked, watched his black mass go, in his pit, you know, like, go right across the, uh, like, the, uh, near the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And I looked at it, and I thought... Okay, I didn't see that much, but you know, like you do. I'm just like, no, nah, I've just uh, completely ignored it. And I thought, well, I've got to sleep in there. But it just, I don't know, I just, I just find they do feed on fear. So I just come to the point, it's like, yeah, I know you're there. No, I'm not bothered. Right, just leave me alone. Otherwise, you know, we're going to be having words. So that's how, that was my uh, outlook on it. Okay, do you believe perhaps that maybe a spirit would have been drawn due to the fact that your uh, your 
clearly practicing. Well, I do it sometimes, but not, not very often. But I wasn't practicing when we had it in the other house. I, it was already, I, it could it, I believe I could have been followed for years. Mm -hmm. I don't know, because I've always experienced something, but it, it, like I said, when I was at my, the other house, it was just, it, it was really, really dark. And I had a couple of friends that didn't know each other at all. And both of them turned around and said, there's some, you know, there's something there. And I'd never tell anybody. It was just always, because, you know, once it's in somebody's mind, then people are seeing things all the time. So I'd never say anything. And I'd wait until somebody would turn around and say something to me. Because I had lodgers, I had my sons, I had their friends over, and I'd bring friends around. And I'd never say a word until somebody would come to me. Oh, by the way, is there something going on in your house? And I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> So, because like I said, you know, it's, you know, you find it gets implanted in somebody's mind. You know, it's, your mind seems to like overreact. But, no, I wasn't practicing anything like that. I was always interested in the, um, you know, the supernatural and all that. I've been reading it a long time before, even before it became available on the internet. So, I was always buying books and... Obviously, now they've become more available. I've got loads of books. and Yeah. But I was brought up religious. Mm -hmm. But I, to me... See, that's the difference between myself and him. He believes in a God. I don't. But me and him just like, well, you believe what you believe, and I believe in what I believe. It's simple as... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not one of them that's going to sit there and criticize. So, yeah. So, why do you believe the Ouija board? What, what happened? In fact, tell us what happened, why you were playing with it in the first well, place. Well, when we were playing with it, it was my, I, I was there with my mum. She made it out of um, like a piece of glass and she put like the letters underneath somehow. I can't quite remember how she did it. But um, she was asking it questions. And she thought it was her grandma at first, but then it started getting things wrong, uh, like just little things at first. And then it said it was the devil. Well, you know, that's to try and scare you more, isn't it? Who knows what it was really, but then strange things started happening. Little things started moving around, like the keys. We lost the keys and the door was locked and we couldn't get out. It took us ages to find them. And my mum's friend smoked a pipe and um, he was in the front room and he just put it on the table and um, turned away, turned back, was gone. We looked everywhere for it and he went to go upstairs to the toilet and the kitchen was open plan and it was on top of the cupboard in the kitchen. You could see it as he walked up the stairs, but nobody had moved it. That's very strange. Yes, it was. So since this Ouija board incident, what, what else have you been experiencing throughout your life? Uh, I've seen shadow people. I've had sleep paralysis and what I thought was alien abduction at the time. I don't think it was now, but I thought it was at the time. Um, I was massively into the X-Files at the time as well. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, I saw um, one night when, when I was lying in bed, I'd just turned the light off, so I knew I wasn't asleep when this happened. Uh, the bed was here, the window was here, and you know when a car goes past and you can see the lights on the ceiling? Well, I was just lying on the, on the bed looking up at the ceiling. And this light came in and I thought, oh, it's a car headlight. Didn't really think much of it. And it got about halfway across the room. And then when it got there, it started, like, wobbling. And it went all, all the way down the wall. Sorry, the ceiling. Got, got to the wall and it came down. I had a poster of Gillian Anderson. Because, like I said, I like the X-Files. And when it got to the poster, it went to her face. And as it went to her face, her eyes went jet black. And her lips all started going like they'd been torn up. And her face went all disfigured. So I you know, pulled the covers over my head then. Uh, and then about five minutes later, I, I got the confidence to, to look again and it was back to normal. But that happened with that poster twice, so I pulled it down after that. Mm. Uh, and in that same house, um, I felt like my like energy got drained out of me and I ended up falling over, passing out. Uh, my mum told me that something was coming into, when she was in bed, something was coming in whispering a name and it'd get nearer and nearer to a bed and it'd be like, going, it like she was called Pat. And it go pat, 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 until it go up to an, and then it went pat. And I never heard any of that until one one night, I can't 
remember exactly when it was. But I came out of my room and as I did, I heard some kind of weird, maniacal laughing coming from my room. So I went and knocked on the door and I said, you know, I asked her what had happened. She told me I'd been bothering her again. So then we decided we had to move. But when we moved from there, it followed us to the other house that we were lived in. Um, and in that house is where I saw the shadow people more. And I actually saw one manifest um, in the corner. It was like a little, like you know, like I thought it was just a shadow. And it was started growing just a little bit. And it was stretching out and stretching out like tendrils or something coming out of it. Uh, until it started forming into like almost the figure of a person. But it was as high as the room. So eventually I told it to leave me alone. And it did. But then when my mum died in 2014 it started again. And that's when I went to, I met Jackie and started going to her house. And then I saw it again but this time when I saw it, it was fully formed already. It was like hiding in, you know, like there was a shadow in the room. Yeah. And you could only see parts of it. But you could tell, I could tell there was something there. I could see like maybe the head and the shoulder. But I could see it moving slightly. There was definitely something there. And I got scratched when I was at her house as well. And that's the first time I got pushed down the stairs as well. So, do you believe this to be the spirit of a person? I mean, clearly you're telling me all the signs of a demonic entity. I don't think it's a person, no. Shadow shadow people tend. Right, I'll, I'll just say this for the camera. Um, shadow people tend to be a form of manifested darkness, but demons can also take that form. <laughs> Getting scratched using the Ouija board and this happening, um, causing potential hallucinations or actual uh, disfiguration of say faces around you. Um, these are all not signs of dead people. These are signs of demonic presence. I don't think I've ever seen a human ghost. No, no. if I have, then I've not, re you know, not recognised that it was a ghost. Maybe, but I've seen the shadow people anyway. I've never seen a human looking yeah. ghost. If you know what I mean. Um, but the uh, the other thing that I said about the alien abduction thing, I was lying in bed one night, and I woke up and I couldn't move, and then I got this like. Not, it wasn't that loud, but there was a humming noise in my ears. Yeah. And then it was like a, I, I closed my eyes because I was scared. To be honest, I was about 19 at the time, maybe. I don't know. And I closed my eyes, and as I did, I felt like I got dragged out of bed like that, and I blacked out. Ooh. So that's what yeah. I thought was alien abduction to begin with. Definitely sounds more like a demonic attack. Right. Do you have any thoughts on this? Do you believe that it would it's more likely a human spirit, or do you even believe in demonic presences? I do. Th I believe in something negative. Yeah. So, it does sound. Yeah, it's not not human. No. So, do you believe that this entity comes and goes from here? There's long period. I mean, I made it sound like it all happened at once. That it didn't. There was like the be activity. It stopped then there'd be activity again and then it'd stop it. It seemed that we moved a lot and it seemed to happen more when we first moved into somewhere and then like, cause I'd pray for it to go away. To yeah. be with you. And eventually, don't happen, don't work straight away, but eventually it seems to force it out. But then when we've moved, it started again. Hmm. Which I don't know why that should be, but that seems to be the case anyway. Um, my mum went to the shop and she'd just gone out Picked, I was going to make myself a drink, so I picked the cup up, went to the hall, and the stairs were here, and the door was there, and the, at, at the corner of my eye, I saw somebody standing on the stairs, and I thought, oh, she's just gone her way out, and then I thought, wait a minute, she's just gone out, and I turned around, and there was nobody there, and it was a woman, but I didn't, I just assumed it was my mother, so and it wasn't, I don't know who it was. What did you say happened downstairs while you were on the treadmill? When I was on the treadmill, um, I started getting this strange feeling that I was being watched, or maybe not being watched, but just an uneasy feeling anyway. Yeah. Maybe. And um, I kept like looking over because I'm, I'm on the treadmill, you know, walking like you do. And I kept looking over in the corner and something kept drawing my eye over and I couldn't really understand what it was to begin with. But then as it started getting, because it was getting dark outside and I hadn't put the light on and I didn't want to get off to turn the light on, um, I was looking over and I started seeing like little things in the air, like swirling around. Like, 
maybe like insects I thought at first but they, they were too big I don't know how to describe it better than just movement in the air anyway and I started feeling like something was happening there maybe something was going to appear so I wasn't in the mood to deal with it so I just got off the treadmill and came upstairs yeah but I definitely felt like something was if I had waited something was going to happen so are you guys comfortable with us attempting to perhaps make contact with whatever this is just to I'm maybe try and confirm you can, you can do I mean if, if it's here then it's here anyway so yeah. you know it's not going to make it might not actually even be anything to do with the house it could be doing like an attachment that's what I've been saying all along I don't know I think it is well I guess we can find out tonight for sure if you're up okay. for it Yes, yes, cool. Right, um... I've got a Ouija board somewhere that's never been used, but I'd have to find it in one of them drawers. I did actually buy one, and then my daughter, when she was drunk at my other house one time, it's like, no, you're not playing it. Peed up. It's not happening. <laughs> so, so... I did actually buy... I have bought one, but it's... If you had one, it. would you be comfortable in using it? If you found it? Would you be comfortable in using it? I don't mind. I'm not too bothered. It's brand new anyway, so it's not like it's come from somebody and been passed down. Yeah, yeah. I've got to find it, though. It's only a little thing. <laughs> and I take it you probably, since all your problems started with a Ouija board, you'd be less inclined well, to... Let me think about it. I'll think, <laughs> about to think it. about it. Yeah, I'll give it a thought. Some thought. Yeah, I understand. Sometimes I think you need to find out the actual root of the problem of why it's going on and obviously if you don't it's just going to carry on and after a while it's going to get a bit tedious definitely um right you ever use a singing bowl by the way have i used a singing bowl singing yeah. bowl he's got one i can get it if you want what, you, what yes what do you use it for uh, they're supposed to attract spirit energy i moved i moved it recently so I put loads of candles and stuff in there. So you found it then, huh? Yes, yeah, hidden behind the laptop and everything. And everything now, just can't be left out. How do you feel just having this in front of you? Does it bother you in the slightest? I don't mind it being in the room with me or anything like that. I'm okay. Just, um, I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to use it, you know. Well, I might. If it's what start, I wouldn't ever force you to do something you wouldn't want to do. I mean, I understand that the, the, this is what started it all probably not the wisest decision for you to use it yeah and the other thing is I forgot actually to mention um, I used it and my mum used it but I stopped using it before her and she carried on using it on her own mm -hmm. and there were a couple of times when she started acting strange like she wasn't talking like herself really it was like she got this funny look on her face and it was the lights were off but it was like she had something over her face, like white, some kind of whiteness, and she started talking like somebody else, being really, really nasty, though. You know, not like she would have been. To you, yeah. Yeah. And it was strange, how strange that was. Well, I've heard cases of mild possessions through the use of Ouija boards. Right. I'm kind of that used to happened them, a couple of times, though. Might be the other way, I don't know. So, we've come out, I'm taking a quick smoke break. Um, Simon's gone to go feed the cats so they don't interfere with the Ouija board session. I don't know, I kind of feel bad asking him to take part in this, seeing as it's uh, it's what seems to cause the trouble. He's unsure of it. I do want to say, I wouldn't ever dare peer pressure someone into doing something they wouldn't want to do, especially paranormal-wise. But, yeah, I feel, feel slightly on edge about all this. Tonight we're trying to call in the spirit or entity that has been plaguing Simon here. The sound is very mystical, I must say. <laughs> Really, really 
not upright, so it's gonna go wee. <laughs> no worries. All right, so we got the Ouija board. Now, again, if you don't want to use it, we don't have to. I'd, I'd rather just watch, to be honest. You'd rather just watch? Yeah. yeah. No, I understand. Jackie, do you want to get on it? Okay, but last time I played one was a very long time ago. I got one, but I've not really done it. All right. So, hold on, I'll take some rattly things off. So, somebody's coming on with me, though. I'm not going yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Not in a bad way and your sh I think even your shaking wouldn't be too bad okay just I do shake naturally it's okay. <laughs> just see what happens if there is the spirit here that has been haunting Simon for so long and Jackie can you try to make yourself known can you use this board to communicate with us I'm trying to. It's very hard. I'm shaking, so it doesn't help. Is there anybody here? No. <laughs> Alright, Olivia, do you want to give it a go? Mm -hmm. Just me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, play with me. Ringy finger. Alright, let's just see. Let's spin it, try and build some energy in here. Alright. I did have a nice electric ball and so, until it got broke in somebody's presence. If there's someone here, just try to move the planchette and speak to us. Oh, even I'm shaking. That's not normal. How are you feeling, Olivia? Try to move the planchette if you can. Is there anybody here? Could you maybe move it to yes or no on the board? It shouldn't matter what room you do it in. Oh, I know you can do it anywhere, but sometimes... Did you... Was that you or me? I uh, started moving the position, but... It's weird, I feel like it wants to move. It's like, I feel like something's trying to push it down. How hard do you have your fingers on it, Olivia? Barely, yeah. That is not me. Oh, oh my God! Holy crap! Oh, oh. Ah, I Olivia, grab, it film it, film it. <laughs> oh shoot! It just started moving. It literally just started moving. Let me get oh, my. Oh, it turned. It turned, and it pointed towards yes. Or one. Or one. Is there somebody here? Yes or no? Is there somebody here? We know you're here. Don't, you can't even hide it. That was weird. I felt that pull really hard. It felt like your fingers were still on it, Jackie, on that end. Wow. somebody here make yourself known for us us causing those slight movements we're not doing that pull like we just had a second ago come on pull the planchette as hard as you can Use our energy. You literally just flipped the planchette to yes. I, I felt that so strongly. You twisted the point to point at yes. 
just to see if someone's here. Can you twist it again or move it to no? Board. I'm not going to make you, but I just want to know. No, it's, it's a fair question. Do you want Simon to play the Ouija board? Simon to play. P six. I just stopped at six. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm confused. I don't know, but six, seven. No, because it just moved off of six and it moved back onto six. Never that old game. <laughs> Are you claiming to be the devil? Are you trying to spell out six, six, six? It's just kind of hovering over six at the moment. Are you the devil? Yes or no? Very low. I'm barely touching it, like literally. a spare box. Yeah. We clearly got sixes. Yeah, let's go run over. Goodbye. That was interesting. Right. Is this to you? That was weird. I forgot to mention as well when we did the Ouija board, there was somebody else with us. Yeah. And my mum used a glass and before he went to go by he picked the glass up. Really? Yeah. That's neat. And she was annoyed with him for that as well. All right, so here you 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 uploaded this to YouTube. You yeah, said. I didn't take it though. My mom took that. Your mom took this EVP, and you believe it could be the spirit that has been following possibly, you. Possibly, yeah, possibly. Right, I've already listened to it once, and I couldn't fully understand what it said. But I'm going to play it for you guys. So, uh, my peeps out there with the headphones, please. It's right at the end. That at the end. I'll play it one more time. That's an odd one. So it's like, do you know who I am or something? No. Yeah. Well, I thought it was either there's a Wayne here in the morning or something about Amare. You know, because I'm like, like doing that and stuff. Hmm. There's I hear. There's a way in here, something. Yeah, that's what I thought it sounded like. Alright. Yeah. It's a hard one. Oh, 
basically now I'm gonna try and get like direct contact. Um, whether you know or not, I don't use a traditional spirit yeah, box. Yeah, so I've seen it. You've seen it. Okay, so cool. you know what's going Definitely. on. Yeah. Right. Let's uh, see if we can get anything. Who or what is here with us right now? Who are you? Time to run. It said time to run and then I feel something else. A super cold coldness on my leg all of a sudden. Yeah. That is strange. Like, it's ice. Yeah. That is weird. That is super cold. Did you just touch me? Can you say touch if you just touched me? If you are currently touching me. And the devil. Are you touching me? Get out. Get out? Mm-hmm. Right, let me try asking this, because it's claiming to be the devil anyway from what I'm hearing. If you are, tr if you truly believe yourself to be the devil, I don't believe that. I've, I've heard countless spirits call themselves that, but if you truly believe yourself to be the devil, just say the word devil. Mm -hmm. I feel like it might respond better to Simon if he asked the questions. Yeah, <laughs> try asking. Just say, can you tell me who you are? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. Who are you? Yes, yes. What? Should I ask again? No, just no. give it time okay. in between. Who are you? Ask Simon. Tell him. Friend. 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 You just say you're Simon's friend. Can you say friend again? What's your first name? It said name and then guy. Hmm. That's the odd one. Name. name. Guy. Maybe it is a guy. But it said name after you asked what's your name and then it said guy. It said could it guy. be a male? Um, 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 how old are you? What number was that? That was number like six. Number like six. I don't know why I think she was. I've got a question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Where did I see you? Who are you asking the demon? That's what it just said. Yeah, I 
Are you a friend or are you a demon? Or both, I guess. Friend, demon, or both. Out to the king. In, in the ground? She said in the ground. Right guys, so um, I think that concludes this investigation at the moment. We did capture some activity, some good spirit box. We devoured. We got to hear your guys' story. It was absolutely amazing. I can't thank you guys enough for sharing. Anyway, before you go, right here, if you enjoyed this, click this link. It's just like this sort of video. You'll absolutely love it. Don't even think about it. Just click it. It's a good video. And we'll end it as we always do. Do you believe that?